Hey, what's going on YouTube? And welcome to this week's tutorial. This week we will be featuring Dodge and Burn in Luminar 4.2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can achieve the same kind of Dodge and Burn look and feel by using this piece of software. So Dodge and Burn is something that I use in all my images. It can be used to pull out details. It can be used to add form or shape to something. It can be used to do skin retouching. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to do that in Luminar. So this is the image we are going to be working on and this is alternative model Shelley the Inferno. And what I've done is I've composited a texture onto the studio background just to add some interest. And now the next part of the process will be to dodge and burn. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go up to filter. Again, like always I work with, in Luminar in Photoshop. So uh, you can also use it as a standalone, as I have mentioned before, but I always use mine in Photoshop. So I go to Filter, Skyland Software, Luminar 4. So we'll click on that. And let the software load up and the image appear in the interface. So what we want to do now is we want to go to the right hand side and we want to go down to where it says Pro. And these, is, these are the professional tools. So we'll click on that, and in here you have Advanced Contrast, Adjustable Gradient, Dodge and Burn, Color Enhancer, Photo Filter and Split Toning. We are going to focus on Dodge and Burn, obviously. So what we're going to do is click on Dodge and Burn, the dialog box comes up and we have Start Painting and we have Overall Amount 100%. So to start off with, we want to take this down to maybe, let's take it to 50 this, to start with, and let's press Start Painting. So once you click on Start Painting, you get these options up here. You have Brush, so Lighten and Darken, so obviously you've got Dodge and Burn. You've got Erase, so if you go wrong, you can click on that and go over the area, and then Erase it, and then either Dodge and Burn that area again. And you have the size of the brush, so you can change the size of the brush, but you can also, again, like you do in Photoshop, just do it with the Open and Close brackets, and then you have Strength 50%. So let's take the Strength down first to around... Let's stay 30%. See how we go with that. And we can always adjust this if needed. So like Photoshop, it's Control plus to zoom in. And then we can just move up and start on the face. So as I mentioned earlier, there's many ways to use Dodge and Burn. You can use it to pull out details. You can use it to add depth. And you can use it to add form. And there's many other ways. What we're going to be doing is just creating depth or form just by adding more contrast to the the lights and the shadows that are already there. So you do that by painting over a highlight where you dodge the highlight and if there's a shadow or some kind of detail you want to pull out, you will then burn that. So I always start on the face and I always usually start off dodging on the face. So a little ad, a piece of advice for when you're dodging the face, you can, if you don't take care, you can make the face look weird. Uh, you've seen those images the um websites where someone's overdone it with the dodge and burn and it's like they've totally smoothed out the skin so that it looks like they've been painted uh with crayons or something like that we don't want to go that far but what i do use as a guide sometimes is or what i did in the beginning is um let me just show you i'll pull it across so if you type in makeup contouring diagrams onto Google or Bing, you come up with these, and this is generally how you would dodge and burn the face. So you can use these as a guideline if you need to, if you don't really know how to do it, or if you just want something there as reference. So as you can see, we usually dodge the nose here, burn the side of the nose, then dodge here, or sometimes here on the cheeks, and then burn under here to get the contouring of the cheek. And again, on the lips, you do something similar. You have the uh, You've got the light here and the dark around the edges and you've got the light on the chin underneath here and you've got dark and around the edges here and that is basically and sorry dark and light here and that's basically how you would go around dodging and burning the face of an image so if you do get a little bit lost you can just look at this diagram and use that so let me just slide that across so let's start on the face so i usually start with the eyes so i'm going to resize the brush And you always want to resize the brush to the area you're dodging. So what we're going to do is, see the highlight here? We're just going to go and dodge that. So this is looking too strong. Uh, we have the, oh sorry, because we've got the 
overall amount up. So let's just have a look at that. So let's have it on 50 and then we can always t turn this down later on. So then we want to highlight here and then to just get under this under the eye here. So all we're doing is dodging the highlights that are already there. So in the eye, want to go in the eye again and again and we want to do this area here so with Luminar you just want to swipe once you don't want to keep swiping over so once and then if we need to we can always erase and then we have this um, highlight here so let's go up there and we want a little bit of like highlight here and then we want some on the forehead here. So what's going on here? Well, it depends. We'll go down like this. Get this bit of the lip here. Again, this looks very abrasive, but we will be turning it down later. So we've got the cheek here, this cheek here. Maybe a little bit of the tooth there. Make sure we've got all this area here. forehead a little bit more up here like so and let's go to the hair like this so again we're dodging the highlights or enhancing highlights what are already there right, there's a curve curve here in the hair where there's a highlight so let's just push that down Again, it does look very over the top of the minute, but we will be refining that later, pulling it down so it doesn't look as abrasive. So I just get the curls here, like so, there. Some curls here as well. Curls here, this piece of hair. have a look. A couple of curls here as well. Again, resize the brush. Here, here, down. The curl goes down here. And now let's go and darken some stuff. So for this we're going to turn the strength down to around 13. Uh, burning always is more, it, it seems to be more noticeable than the dodge. So when you do it, it stands out more. So I always turn down the, the burn and then we can all, always increase it if not. So what we're going to do is we're going to burn the cheeks here. We're going to burn some more of the lips, this side of the nose here and burning the eyebrows. So let's start off with this side here again, more subtle the other side so we've got the side of the face done let's just go and burn some of this eyebrow again resizing your brush like so let's get inside the eye here inside the eye here underneath the eye here and then let's light side resize the brush and get this area here underneath the eye uh, sorry, above the eye, underneath the eyebrow. Let's just get dark in this area around here, and then we go to the cheek on this side. And now let's go to the lips. So we want to go around the lip, like so. Around the lip, like so. So quick, like kind of tracing around the lips. So let's go and darken the inside here and the outside here. So you can kind of see, so it goes dark, light, dark, dark, light, dark. And that's kind of the same on all, all images. With the dodging burn, we create in depth. Go around the lips again. Bottom of these lips here. Let's go around the top of these lips like so. Let's switch the light in a minute. I missed the chin, so let's get the, the light of the chin there. Let's go back to darken. Let's just darken under this bit a little bit more. Let's darken under the eyes here and the eye here. 
let's zoom out and let's go on to the hair again as you can tell this, is, tell this is really over the top at the minute but we will again like I said at the end adjust this so don't worry I can tell you are looking at the screen now going that looks terrible <laughs> um, but this is it's part of the madness so I'm going to darken that down the hair here here so that's for the face and now let's move on to the body so again let's go to lighting let's move down and I'm just going to dodge the highlights just like so and then burn the shadows like so again let's lighten so dodge so on the arm you, you've got the the highlight what usually comes down here or along here so you've usually got a bit of a highlight there one here so it goes with the shape of the arm then we've got darken and then we just go down the sides again and down this side somewhere around here usually and then we've got the shape of the the curve of the arm here and then we burn here and around let's darken around the edge here a little bit as well let's go up to this arm again you can see the where the light is hitting the curve of the arm so it kind of goes along here and down here so we will just enhance that by dodging that and then darken so burn the outside giving the arm shape so there will be a little bit of burn down here So I'm just gonna let's have a look. So let's keep on burning. So all down the side of this body here, where the curve is kind of sinking away, would be burn. And down this side as well a little bit. And then when we get to the pants, we'll go back to dodge and let's dodge in these creases here. Let's turn the dodge up a bit actually because I turn it down for burn dinner. So let's get that back up to like 30%. And close, you can be a bit more liberal with the dodge and burn it to bring out the creases, things like that. Now let's just lower the strength of that to 20% and let's just get the curve of the leg here. Highlight of the leg there as well. Let's go to darken. Let's just darken here and then a little bit down this side. Let's darken in here and a little bit this side. And let's go into the pants now and darken these again. Just darkening where it's at the shadows, creating depth and detail of contrast. This side in here, like so. Let's go back to lighting. you kind of getting that illustrated um, painterly feel let's go back to darken let's just move up the image now let's just darken this area here zoom out and take a look so as you can see it's a little bit overcooked well it's a lot overcooked so what I would do then is just grab the overall amount grab it and then I'll just start pulling it down so it looks somewhere a little bit more natural somewhere somewhere like there so we're kind of going for that painterly feel but we don't want it so noticeable that it looks fake so let's just click the before and after so, so that's before and that's after as you can see we've added some depth to the face and the and form to the arms and the hair and the body so that's just, that's before that's after again if it's still too strong you can lower it down to 
26%. So that's looking better. So what I would do after that is then I would maybe add some kind of um, color to it, the image. We want some kind of color grading. So we could just go to color enhancer and I want the, we've got some orange tones with the hair and the browns in. So maybe let's see if we pull some uh, blues in to the image somewhere like there. A little bit of color grading. Like so. Again, let's click before and after. Again, just boosting those colors in there to go with the painterly feel. Let's click apply. And then now I'll apply those uh, results. So that's the before and that's the after. As you can see, Again, with anything, it's how you use it and what you use it for, what makes a difference. And with Dodge and Burn, you can go as far as you want or use it as little as you want. But as you can see, all we've done there is added some shape to the face, a little bit of shape to the arms and the top. You've got more form here around the body and the legs. And that's a simple way to dodge and burn in Luminar 4.2. As you can see, the controls are very simple. Um, it's just a very easy interface to work with. And again, if you're not very up on how to create these uh, techniques in Photoshop, Luminar gives you the tools there for you to use straight off the bat. So thanks, guys. Hope you found this tutorial enjoyable. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment or feel free to hit me up on social media. And as always, Luminar give you 30 days free trial. So be sure to click and go through to the website if you feel like it, you could benefit from using this tool. And if you decide to buy, just type in Clinton at checkout and you will get £9 off. Thanks, guys.